What's happening, Internet? Sean here, Mahalo.com, and in this step, we'll be going through your registry to speed up your computer. It's kind of like clearing out your phone contacts. Joey? Who's Joey? I just wanted to briefly touch on your registry, because a lot of times your registry is used as a way to speed up your computer. And sometimes that can be true, but more than likely it won't, won't really give you much of a performance increase. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I'd just like to show you how to get to your registry. Just click on the Start menu, type in Run. Click on run and just type in R-E-G-E-D-I-T, registry edit. Click yes and this is your registry. And more than likely, more times than not, you'll be working in something like H key current user, H key local machine, and then software for the most part. And as well as that, like I said, there still are registry cleaners out there. Something like this program here. These aren't necessarily a um, first option. The problems with registry cleaners is that they'll go in and just kind of guess and check and remove files they don't think should be there. So more times than not, you'll definitely want to do a system backup and a registry backup before you use a cleaner. So I just wanted to touch on those so you're aware of those topics and you're also aware of how to get to your registry. So if you had a specific item you're really trying to fix, you had the instructions you needed, you were able to access your registry and then remove a file if you had to. Like I said, I just wanted to warn you about the danger of catch-all registry cleaners. And if you have to use a registry cleaner, I would suggest a WiseDisk cleaner free. So just a couple points to cover when talking about registries. And all your registry is is simply an index of where things are, where things are going, and again, just wanted to inform you about your registry, how to access it, and what registry cleaners do. Now, after this lesson, if your computer is still not running fast and you've followed all of the steps to get to this point, you want to take the next step, which is simply a backup format and a new install. And I'll walk you through that whole process so your computer can get running as fast as it should. All right, guys, and just a reminder, this video is one step in the process of elimination to finding out why your PC is running so slow. So if you just stumbled upon this video, you might want to go to step one, and that will be in the description of this video. And remember guys, you can send any of your problems to me for viruses, spyware, and PC performance that I haven't covered in this series. Just send those to requests at mahalo.com. And remember, only you can prevent spyware, viruses, and all that bad stuff on the internet.